In this lesson, you'll learn how to perform basic color corrections on a clip. But first, we need to re-enable the cabin clip we disabled in a previous lesson by selecting it and pressing V. Skim over the clip. This clip was shot late in the day and Mitch appears a bit too orange. Let's start by neutralizing the color cast. Select the clip, then from the Enhancements menu, choose Balance Color. Funnel Cut Pro 10 will automatically balance the color based on what it thinks the shot is supposed to look like under neutral lighting conditions. In this case, most of the orange cast has been removed, but the image has been pushed too far in the blue direction, particularly in the desert landscape. We need a tool that will give us more control. In the inspector, locate Balance Color, then choose White Balance. A text overlay in the viewer tells us to click or drag over an area in the image that is supposed to be pure white. This area right here looks white, so I'll click on it. The shot is corrected and looks more natural than the automatic correction. Click the checkbox next to Balance Color to see a before and after. But we can still refine the image a bit further, as Mitch's face is looking too orange to my eye. Click this button to reveal the color inspector. From the pop-up at the top of the window, choose Hue Saturation Curves. Scroll toward the bottom to reveal the orange versus sat curve. Click the eyedropper to activate it, then click once on a bright orange area of Mitch's face. A vertical gray line appears on the graph that identifies where in the luminance range your orange sample falls. Click once on the line to create a control point, then drag downward to reduce the saturation around this point. The curve gently rolls off the saturation from the darker orange pixels on the left to the brighter orange pixels on the right to create natural looking face tones. Curves like this one give you much more finesse in your color corrections because they allow you to isolate your adjustments to specific areas in the image while leaving the rest of the image unaffected. Return to the main inspector by clicking the film strip button. All the color corrections we performed appear in the list below effects and each one can be enabled or disabled. At any point you want to make an adjustment to a correction you've made, click the rainbow looking color inspector button. In the next lesson, we're going to dive into the exciting world of 360 video editing.